Hello and welcome to another amazing video by the Disorders Care. I'm Dr. Umar and I'll be your presenter for today. The most commonly asked question around the internet is that why shouldn't or should we use caffeine for children with ADHD or adults with ADHD? As it keeps our brain fresh and working, the most common thing all of us know about ADHD is stimulants or in this case you can say caffeine because it also works as a stimulant. So what does caffeine do that it improves our focus for both normal minds and ADHD minds. It also improves our attention span and help us control our impulsiveness. Now the most common and popular caffeine is found in coffee, tea, chocolate, soda and some other foods. You must be thinking you hear this popularity of caffeine all around you but the doctor doesn't recommend it to you. Let me make it clear for you. There are always two types of treatments in the market. One is usually called the remedy which is always not recommended by the doctors. The other is known as a treatment with proven results which is also called medication which is published and approved by the FDA or some other institution that approves drugs. But even if the remedy is more correct and effective, never ever a doctor would recommend it to you. Why? Well, <laughs> because they don't get paid for that. They'll always prescribe drugs because that's their job. Now let's see what does caffeine do to your brain. Imagine a fireplace. The fireplace is lit. It gives you heat. But if you want the fire to heat more, you can put kerosene oil in it. But if you put too much kerosene, it will burst. That's almost how it is with caffeine or stimulants in this case. There is a chemical in our brain called dopamine. Yeah, that little guy is linked to emotions which makes us human beings. Anger, player, movement, attention, all of them. Blame them to dopamine. And caffeine raises the amount of the release of dopamine which is not so common in ADHD or ADD brains. Some researchers think that caffeine is also present in tea and coffee etc. So it can help improve working of ADHD brain because doctors also prescribe you stimulants for ADHD which does the same. Some scientists think caffeine has potential as an ADHD treatment because of its effect on dopamine levels which improved memory and attention in rats. Another study, when hyperactive rats were given caffeine before they went through a maze, they got better at it. This suggests caffeine can improve spatial learning. While these studies are interesting, but rats aren't people. You must be thinking that Umar just confused the hell out of you. Should we use caffeine or not? What should we do now? Before concluding and telling you what exactly you should do and providing you a solution at the end, there is just one other thing I would like to close. The downside. More than 400 milligrams of caffeine is more likely to cause problems in human beings including migraine headaches, insomnia, irritability, upset stomach and so much more. It varies on person to person that what affect the excessive use of caffeine would do to you. A study found that caffeine was much less effective than dextromphetamine and methylphenidate, two kinds of medication commonly used to treat ADHD. Let's talk about children for now because most of the people when they find out they have ADHD, they are children. Experts don't recommend giving caffeine to children, especially if they are taking prescription medication for ADHD. Kids may be more vulnerable to the side effects of caffeine and it's possible that it can affect brain development in growing children. While an older study found that high dose of caffeine, almost 600 mg every day, helped control hyperactivity symptoms in children. But there were many side effects. Kids with ADHD generally have more sleep problems and have trouble staying alert during the day. Caffeine can disrupt sleep which could make these issues worse. Now finally we are moving towards the 
conclusion so human brain and body is much more complex than we usually think it is billion of things to think about and take care of but we can't always do that what we should do is for people with few symptoms of adhd should start using caffeine instead of stimulant drugs and check the trade off now let's see what trade off means by trade off i mean you should check your symptoms regularly what is being improved and on the other hand what are you losing let's say if caffeine helps you gain attention and you are performing better in school college work or any other activity that you do but you lose your health somehow let's say your stomach gets upset and you are getting weak then you should reduce or stop the intake but if it has some effects that could be traded with the attention then keep using it remember you should always consult your doctor and tell him or her your problems and feelings so he may guide you better and while taking new medications or trying a new remedy never ignore anything headaches stomach pains sleepless always keep everything in mind and act on it we wish you the best of luck we try our best to deliver you something that would help you out please give us your precious time and comment whatever you think also if you like this video leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because a lot of information is on our plate and we aren't keeping it to ourselves thank you